What's up guys? Beast Mo with the Haven family. And I know I just finished Luke a preview for him. I took him to five star silver, but I found another move that I really like. And he's just so flexible. Every time I like look at something new, there's another way to blow up the board and hit people for a million damage with this guy. It's amazing. So the move we're going to try that we haven't tried before, and hopefully if you watch the other videos, because you'll, I don't want to like spill into everything and make this drawn out. I just want to show you one specific thing. It's a nine charge red and it does 58k damage and you make all the yellow gems into bat, a blast. So you always start with like five to seven, maybe eight gems of each color in each board. Like you'll probably have that of yellow. And I got to thinking, you know, the new APA, he makes them really, really strong. So if you look at the new APA, he at, I think, 9K, you get 50%. Yep, 50% of blast gems. At 13K, you get 100%. And then at 15K, you get the same 100%, but then 25% to red gems, which is Luke's strongest color. So add all that in to blowing up the board, and it's actually going to be really, really nice. So I also switched out everybody in this. Um, Kofi stays the same with the gear. That yellow starts charged in a feud. And you're going to make the reds. You're still going to match two threes, and you're going to get the other, red, other reds off. Um... You got Typhoon, he's giving you 15% to your reds, 25% to your blasts. And then over here, 25% more to your blasts from uh, Ray. So uh, let's go look at it. We're going to go against the same person we've been fighting. Triple H, he's got maxed out medals. We know that from the previous video. So every time you see so his base yellow gem, uh, gem damage is like 7k. So when he gets another 50k from those blast gems, it's going to be another 3,500 on top of what you see here. So right off the bat, we're going to hope we get some yellows to drop in. Um, how can I set this up? I don't want to break any. I can't break that. That'll cascade. Nope, that'll cause a cascade. Um, just don't want to break any. Oh, I already know I can't do that. Um, let's go with that and that. And then we'll put some more reds around some of the yellows that we know are going to get broken to make sure they get broken, right? Really? <laughs> A 200k mistake. All right. It, it happens. Let's see. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yellows, right? Now, first off, they're doing 9K, almost 9K. So another 50% of that is going to be 4,500. So let's see what they go to. Now they're at that. So they're going to be around 21K damage each. So we're going to break whatever connects and then whatever else we can that we wanted to break that we couldn't. So this one's good. This one's going to connect. That's going to connect. That's going to connect. We could break this one. We could take these two. All right, let's see this. We're going to end up doing about 100 to 150K more damage than you see right here. So 750. So that's going to be 900k turn one plus the 200k from the red move and the gem damage in the other move. Probably a little bit more than that. So, you know, people aren't kicking out of an 850 to 900k pin most of the time. And it reloaded because we're breaking all these yellows and we're catching all these reds. Let's try it one more time. Because we got a kind of a funky uh, cascade right there. So I'm going to go through it really quickly. I'm not going to really explain that much on the second one. I'm just going to do it. And hopefully we get some yellows on the board. But yeah, this actually really works. And it's going to be a lot stronger if you take APA up. So we're going to bounce right back in there. Yeah, this, is, this card is so flexible. I really enjoy using him. I can't wait to go feuding with this guy. I really can't. I, I originally didn't think he was going to be quite as good. Quite Look at all these yellows on the board. Come on. Really? That's amazing. Let's, <laughs> let's hopefully not break any. So let's go like this. One, two, three. 
And we'll throw that. Oh, we already did all the reds. Okay. So look at all these yellows and reds. This is going to be stupid. <laughs> and more dropped in. All right. I'll take it. And you turn them all into blast gems. So let's see. We're going to be doing, what would we say, 4,500 damage each yellow gem more. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to do, yeah, probably another 100k or so. That's about average. Now see what this does. This one's going to be fun because there's so many yellows and reds. So this one's going to connect to that. That's going to connect that. That's going to connect that and that. We got to break them all. Zero cascade. Thanks, guy. Yeah, so seven. it's going to be about 850 to 900k pins on turn one every time. I really enjoy this moveset. It's so easy to use. I think when we were using Priest, we were doing about 900k pins, something like that. Um, if you drop down to Batista, you were doing about 750 to 800k pins. And it's always turn one. So you can use any of the setups. This is probably less uh, rare trainers. When we just went in with Batista, Lacey, and I forget who else we used in the end, it, it was still like super good. I think it was still 700K. Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. He's a fun card to play. I'm having a good time with him. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I really like this guy. I don't know if there, I've done a preview on a card I don't like though. So I got to stop saying that. <laughs> Look at all these yellows. All right. So we're going to do the two threes. So we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. Oh, we want to make... We're, we'll go here and here too. Just to add some red damage. Because you're getting 25% to them also when you take JBL up to the red gems. So those are going to end up another, they're going to end up about 13k each. So that's even more damage you're adding to it. And I'm sorry about my video earlier today when I was doing the showdown. I ended up putting, <laughs> I, I wanted double red trainers for the showdown match, Butch and Sting. And I went and put Kofi and Shamrock in there. <laughs> double yellow. I don't know what I was thinking. Luckily, I caught a red match. Uh, I can't I can't take it back, though. It's out there now. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that's another 50 to 100K more damage. So let's see what this is. Add the 100, 150. And this is so easy to use. And I like that you don't need crazy trainers for it. So that's going to connect. That's going to connect. That's going to connect. We need to break that, we need to break that, and man, I think everything else is getting broken. Maybe that one? Yeah, blowing up the board. We might miss one gem. Yeah, oh, it was a red, no, it broke, okay. So let's see what that did. Yeah, 800K, that'd be about 950K turn one. So easy to use. It just flows nice. I, I, He's probably got three or four builds that I would take into a feud and not even worry about it. And it's nice because that gives you some flexibility with your trainers and coaches. So if you have one guy that really needs somebody, you can just switch them and run this guy a different way and you're home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this extra little um, setup that I thought of and used. If you take JBL up to, uh, what's it, 12 or 13K, I think, and then 15K again. You're getting a, a lot more damage out of him. Plus, he's super useful for a bunch of other cards for Blast Gems. You know, Sika makes a ton of them, and that just adds all that percentage to, to each one of them. He, like, makes the whole board almost Blast Gems. So, you guys, uh, leave me a comment, and I'll always get back to you. And appreciate you watching and taking the time. And leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.